Welcome to Speed Round Sunday on the Parenting Roundabout podcast, where we share a mini episode from our past for your weekend listening pleasure. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new episode. So the other day I saw this little blurb go by um, on, it was on Parents Magazine, a little post about Ellie Kemper, the actress, talking about a funny thing that calmed her baby down. And when you read the article, it turned out she was on an airplane and she showed the baby the in-flight magazine and it was (laughs) a picture of, I believe, Michelle Williams. And that (laughs) was the key to her little baby's heart. So... Um, but that just got me thinking about like weird things or funny things that you might have tried and that might have worked on your baby or toddler back in the day. So <laughs> for me, for us, it was that when my son was little, like two to three years old, he, um, he liked to touch and like squeeze other people's ears. Like, when he was falling asleep, he would reach his little hand up to your ear and just, like, squish it and hold it. (laughs) And he would even do it to his friends at school, and they they did not care. They they were just, like, fine with it. And, you know, I can still remember seeing him do it to his his little friend. And I thought it was so cute that a, a kid would be like, whatever you need, bud. <laughs> oh, I'm there for you. <laughs> so how about That's you, adorable. Nicole? Do you remember anything like that? Yeah, my son in particular, he would fall asleep or calm down if we ran water. So oh. if so, it, if I was trying to put him to sleep, I would either rock him or feed him or whatever I was doing in the kitchen with the tap running or sitting near the bathtub <laughs> with the water running from the beside the bathtub and he would fall asleep. But I think I genuinely think it's because when I was pregnant with him I had a lot of baths. Oh. So oh. yeah. You so needed was, like a just, white noise machine. Yeah. 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 So he well, you know we didn't really have that. I then, know. But, I know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Running water did the trick with him huh. for the first while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How about you, Terry? Yeah. The only the only thing I can think of is something that was calming to my son when he was a teeny tiny thing, and it's still calming to him now, which is playing with keys. Okay. Just like taking somebody, anybody's key ring. And he holds them up, and he looks at them, and he taps them, so sort of like wind chime-like, they move, and, uh, you know, and he also memorizes them. But he just, something about the weight and the jingle and the way they dangle mm-hmm. is comforting to him. I mean, when he was wow. a tiny thing, he would go up, and he would, he would, like, ask people for their keys, or if they had them in their hand, he would take them out of their hand, which he could get away with when he was like, you know... Two, but yeah. <laughs> he does it now. It's kind of a problem. <laughs> but uh, he's still—I mean, that's still his go-to comfort object. And wow. um, I have uh, like one regular, normal key to my name. Yeah, because really just for the house, and then because yeah. the car has had those key oh. fob things, and they don't have actual yeah. keys. Well, he would be able to to. Yeah, if you don't have a car key, that's disappointing because he likes <laughs> yeah. car keys. And he can look at the car key and he can tell you what kind of car you have. And it's like a parlor trick. Everybody's so impressed. Because right. uh, he goes online, I think, and looks at different keys. How many he buys keys? keys. How many keys does he own? Oh, he has a ton. He, he just has huge piles of them. And he, he what he, I think he's doing now is he memorizes people's key chains of people that he likes. And then he goes online and he buys keys for those same types of cars. And he, like, assembles a keychain that's like theirs. No kidding. Yeah, it's really amazing. Wow. It's like a, some sort of visual perception mm-hmm. yeah. s- talent. But, I, you know, it's just, that's his thing, you know? And I used to always tell occupational therapists <laughs> and other people, if you need him to calm down, if you need him to focus, if you need him to be quiet, give him your keys. Good um, to go. And most of them would not do that. <laughs> but I remember one 
one person we went to, uh, Sharon Cermak, who's a well-known OT, and, and she was evaluating him. And I told her that, and she immediately took my keys, threw them in something she wanted to get into that he wouldn't get into, and he just clambered right in. And I'm like, that's the way you do right. it. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's a pro right there. So, Wow. 